Orders of magnitude are used to make approximate comparisons between different objects. If something is about 10 times bigger than another object, then we can say that it's one order of magnitude larger. When we look at cells, it's easy to forget just how small they are and also how some cells are much larger than others. It's also important that we can convert between different units. If you take the standard unit for measuring distance, which is meters, you can start to think about other units in terms of orders of magnitude. There are 100 centimeters in one meter, so a centimeter is two orders of magnitude smaller than a meter. A millimetre, which is approximately the thickness of a piece of paper, is three orders of magnitude smaller than a metre, or just one order of magnitude smaller than a centimetre. As we move smaller, we get to micrometres. These are six orders of magnitude smaller than a metre. And this is the kind of useful distance when we're measuring things at a cellular level. Even smaller still, we get to nine orders of magnitude smaller than a metre, and this measurement is called a nanometer. Using this scale bar, we can easily convert between the different. Let's have a go at this question. To convert from centimetres into micrometres, we need to consider how many orders of magnitude we are moving. There are four orders of magnitude difference between centimetres and micrometres, and this is the equivalent of multiplying by 10 four times. Therefore, to convert centimetres, we need to multiply by 10,000. Therefore, one centimetre is equal to 10,000 micrometres. Let's try another example. So between millimetres and nanometres, there are six orders of magnitude. Therefore, we need to multiply the millimetres six by one million, meaning that six millimetres is equivalent to six million nanometres. We can also do this to convert the opposite way. To convert micrometres into metres, we can use the same methodology. The numbers of orders of magnitude difference is six. However, this time we need to divide by rather than multiply by 10. So to convert 50 micrometers into meters, we need to divide 50 by a million, which gives us 0 0.00005 meters. Remember, you will always have a calculator in your exam to help you with these calculations. Our top tip to help you in your exam is to check that your answer makes sense. If you multiply or divide the wrong way, does it seem logical? If, for example, you were asked to convert the length of a cell, 50 micrometres approximately, into metres, and you got these answers, which one makes sense? A cell is never going to be 50 million metres long.